If you haven't already heard, Lonzo Ball has been a highly talked about subject, being traded to the New Orleans Pelicans, along with Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, and included draft picks. He was loved by a lot of Lakers fans, and it seemed LeBron was also a fan of him, but the NBA is a business, and the Lakers have parted their ways in order to get Anthony Davis. Will Lonzo lead the Pelicans at the point guard position and make them regret the trade? Let's find out. Do what I can till we get to the top. Come and stand why I never could stop. Grabbing the four. So first of all, we just gotta let it be known that Alonzo was most likely not excited at all to hear the news he'd been traded to the city of New Orleans. In fact, he never really liked the city. This is very different. Mm -hmm. Do you get the general sense that it's haunted? Yeah. It's crazy. That place is definitely haunted. 100%. The city's the honest to go to. I mean, won't be coming here. I mean, won't be coming here. <laughs> With that being said, I still think he would take advantage of a new opportunity and has a lot to prove to himself with the knocks on his scoring ability and to get back at the Lakers trading him. Suffering these past injuries involving his ankle have held him back and he was starting to look very promising before his last injury on January 9, 2019. He had gotten his starting role back due to Rajon Rondo's injury and showed his potential to be an elite floor general. Still, he needs to be more vocal in order to lead a team, but it looks as if he's becoming more comfortable on the court. Slowing the game down, hitting his shots, diming his teammates. His overall stats of last year were 10 points per game, 1.5 steals per game, 5.4 assists, and 4.2 rebounds, playing behind Rondo for a good part of the season. LeVar Ball, his father, stated that this move from the Lakers, as quoted by ESPN when he was interviewed at a Drew League game, I guarantee, like I say again, it will be the worst move the Lakers ever did in their life, and they will never win another championship. Guarantee it. Well, LeVar, Eventually the Lakers will win a championship. I don't know exactly when, but definitely. I mean, unless we keep destroying the earth. What are you doing? Yeah. Well, what Please recycle. With an emerging superstar in Brandon Ingram, who averaged 28.4 points, 7.6 rebounds, 2.8 assists, while shooting 58% overall and 46.7% from the three-point range. Josh Hart, a young player filled with potential, and Zion Williamson, theoretically being drafted at number one, the Pelicans' future looks bright. Alonzo has a great opportunity to lead this team as a floor general. I already know the transition game will be insane with Lonzo and Zion running. That is to also mention they had the number 4 pick in the draft, and there have been rumors that they could do something with it in order to get Clint Capella, which would be major. If you're Lonzo and hadn't liked the New Orleans Pelicans before, or just the city of New Orleans, that mindset would change, and you should be fully invested. You guys let me know what you think of the year Lonzo will have, and how his new Pelicans team will do in their first year. Be sure to comment down below, like, and subscribe. It's been Calico Scope. And until next time, y'all, stay scope. Peace. What are you still doing here? The video is over. No. No, the video is over. You're still here? Um. Alright, this is weird. Well, enjoy this little clip. I'm out of here. Think I'll go for a walk. Now the summer sun's calling my